What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video into the Express. I'm going to be showing you how we can create a Wix website in totally for free. There are a few tools that can be helping you to get started as a professional. Um, whether that could be like a company for a influencer or you're making like a freelancer, that's totally up to you. But at the end of the day, it's like your end is your own decision. And if you still don't want to pay actually for anything, it's totally understandable. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to go into wex.com. I wanted to create an account. And once I create an account, I can go directly here into manage.wix.com. Creating an account is actually really, really simple. What I just did is to log in using my actual Gmail account because it's a little bit more easier. So I hit it to get started. I went into continue with Google and then I choose my account and automatically all of that information is going to be just grounded the access really, really fast. And I can go directly into create a new site into the upper side. And this is how I can get started here into Wix. Now, in this part, it says, what kind of website are you creating? In my case, let's say that I wanted to create uh, something for a CJ dropshipping account. I wanted to make dropshipping into this actual website. So what I want to do is to go and look out for e-commerce store. As you can see here, it is e-commerce, mobile, clothing, uh, digital product shop, accessories. So let's go for toys e-commerce toy store i'm going to click this one and hit into next now later on it's going to be asking like what is the name of your store in our case let's look out for humans hit into next and lastly it's going to be asking like what do you want to add to your website this is going to be helping the application to figure out which are the apps that you wanted to uh, have into your actual website so let's say this is an online store so by default we have this one but i don't want to have the chat yet i don't want to enable the forms and i don't want to enable the instagram fees but maybe i do want to add like one blocked i do want to add a groups or like a forum and hit into next with that being said now we are now ready to get started now there's two ways that we can do this we can use a template or we can create um a custom build site created of course by wix in like in just like a matter of minutes what i can truly suggest you is that you don't know how to get started i can truly suggest you to use in this site or made template so this one is going to be helping you to get started from day number one and you don't have to spend a lot of time customizing your your store so we need to go with begin with a template and all the tools, all the elements that we have just added before is going to be added here. And based on all the answers that you chose, is going to be taking to the website template that we might love. So as you can see, here's in Toy Store, uh, Toy Store, Toy Store once again. So uh, just choose the one that fits for you the best and click into continue. In my case, I think that I kind of like something related into the kids clothing store. And then later on, I can change that for an actual toy store. So I'm going to choose this one. I can hit into view before I can try to edit my custom store. And if I liked it, I can go into the edit side. If you don't like it, you can go directly into the template and choose another option. In my case, I think it's working. Uh, I have the header section. It looks great. The logging, the shopping, the actual logo appearing here. This is the header looking up and backwards. The discounts. I think all the elements are doing really, really great. I'm going to hit into the context, for example. And it's looking, actually, it's looking really, really great, solid, professional. So we hit into edit this side so I can start working into this actual template. So now in this part, it's really easy to just get started with actually just importing all your information, all your account, everything now uh, automatically. If you wanted to make dropshipping as I am doing here into Wix, you want to have a dropshipping supplier so you can start to impose your elements into your store. In my case, I do love to use CJ Dropshipping. So here into the CJ Dropshipping, what you want to do here is to go directly into your account. I do exactly the same thing with Wix. I used my Gmail account. I went into authorization and I look out for Wix. So here into Wix, what I just did is to add my store. I needed to have, of course, my Wix store uh, added from another tab. And then I want to choose the site that I have available into Wix. As you can see, there's no toy store available here because we haven't posted that yet. So I want to go back. I want to head into publish just to make the actual confirmation. So I'm going to go into saved and continue. This is going to be generating me a custom URL totally for free. And my site is saved. I'm going to hit now into done. And I'm going to head down now back into view my site. 
so I can go directly into my CJ dropshipping to make the authorization once again if figured out is my website is now being added here into my CJ dropshipping so as I am adding my products into my Wix account, what I want to do is now start to customizing. Into the lip part, we have the plus button, so we can add elements, I can add different sections, I can add page and menus, this side to this side, add applications, integration, and something about my actual business. So first of all, let's focus into how to edit this template. So in my case, I'm going to hit into quick edit. And here, instead of choosing this image, I want to choose my own uh, actual brand logo. I'm going to hit into change. And I'm going to hit here. And then what I want to do is to upload my own media. So I'm going to hit down to upload for my computer. And here I want to look out for my logo. It's really important to use a PNG file of your logo so you don't have to save your background of your logo. You just want to have the actual logo without the with an actual transparent background. So once you have successfully imported that, just click the and hit into choose image and voila, here it is. Now what I want to do is to delete the paragraph because I don't want to see this anymore. I try to upload my same logo, but now instead of choosing a white color, I'm gonna choose a black color so it can be like much better. So as you can see, we don't have to focus a lot in that. So later on, I have the quick edit of the boys and girls to record about in contact. If you wanted to edit your menu, you can go directly into your actual pages and stores and menu. Here says pages and menu, and here you can try to edit. Let's say, for example, I don't want to add boys and girls. I wanted to delete this part, and I wanted to only have toys and the course. I wanted to have the about, the contact. Uh, let's say I wanted to add some fees, uh, something about my company policy, whatever. And here into my business, my products, I have the Wix stores. I need to start selling. So I can start by making the actual selling. What I need to do is to hit into the X mark. I'm going to select my product. I'm going to hit into manage my products. And then later on, I wanted to choose the one that I have just imported from the CJ Dropshipping. And lastly, I'm going to hit down into my about section. And here I'm going to start to delete elements that I actually don't want to see. I'm going to add my actual own. So instead of choosing these elements, I wanted to add my own elements, my own uh, items, my own products. Uh, so I can go into the add elements and I can maybe look for more, something easy and minimalistic like this. And then later on, I can add my own images. So I'm not going to be focusing a lot into the creation of the edition tools. So I want to go directly into published and take a look into what, what we have done so far. I can go into view site and this is going to be the preview of my actual store. So this site was assigned with Wix.com. If you don't want to see this, we need to have, of course, an upgrade with a plan of Wix. But if still you wanted to do this early for free and this one does not bother you, I think we're more than enough. Just make sure that all your uh, elements, all your decos, all your menu is actually working and you can see all your new elements added automatically. In my case, it actually looks great. The application, the effects, the fades in, the fades out is looking really, really great. Speaking about the context, speaking about the shop, the orders, everything is going to be appearing into your own dashboard of Wix. So I'm going to head down here into Wix. I'm going to head into my actual dashboard. And everything that has to be related into my store, all the interactions, automatically is going to be appearing into my actual dashboard. And later on, you can start to set it up with your first product, with setting up your payment method, the shipping and delivery, connect the custom domain, and get found by customers into Google. This is totally up to you. By the end of the day, this is how we can just get started here into Wix. I just show you like a broad way of how you can get started here into Wix. Start to play around here into Wix and figure it out what are all the elements that we can use here into Wix in order to get started with as a freelancer, as an online e-commerce. That's totally up to you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and well with that being said i'll see you in the next video i'll see you soon